Howdy mates. Top of the afternoon to ya. Today marks Friday, October 18th, 2024. I don't know about you, but I feel like October has passed by even quicker than September. What's up with that? <laughs> this is probably one of the first films you've seen me actually wear a jacket. Because uh, we're in northern Utah. It's a bit chillier. For the most part, it's only in about the 40s, give or take. And you can see behind me. There we go. You can see that we're relatively close to the clouds. And given that we're decently high in elevation, you can see that there's a fine line between where some of the frost begins. As you can imagine, if it's only reaching into the 40s for the day, you would know that it gets below freezing during the night. Particularly where I'm at is known as the Timpanogos Cave National Monument, which was dedicated in 1922 under President Warren Harding. And what's interesting about this particular cave is you have to you have to hike over one and a half miles before you can even enter into the cave itself. So you're expected to have some exercise. Because you're going up a bit of an incline, as it were. Yeah. There you go. You can have a kinda have a glimpse of what I'm talking about. I believe just down there is actually near the visitor center. But just out there in the distance is the village of Provo. So, for the most part, we are near the, what you call, Mormon territory. Where they decided to settle. Now, most of the bedrock is found up here may include limestone, along with uh, quartzite, maybe even a little bit of granite, too. But most of it is indeed uh, quartzite, which is a form of metamorphic rock as well. But the cave is so unique when I was in there. I couldn't really take any film, just because we were consistently moving and I wanted to also listen to the tour guide but uh, there's just so many neat cave formations in there whether it's stalactites, stalagmites, helictites which an analogy that I heard and I actually really like it what helictites look like is imagine you have a tube of toothpaste, you squeeze it out of its tube, and you know that when you squeeze it, it tends to kind of make its own <laughs> swirly shape. Well, helictites do something very similar to that, but in the form of calcium carbonate. And that usually happens because there is a high amount of water pressure within the bedrock and so that water wants to take that path of least resistance for the most part but uh, anyway neat spot if you haven't been and it's crazy just how northern Utah is so much different than southern Utah so it just really shows the diversity of the state so all right, you guys, have a good one. Take care. And, of course, journey on a journey is onwards. See ya.